First thing I want to talk about here today, because uh, there's no peace in this household. I wake up every morning and I just have a million messages on my phone from overnight because I'm on the West Coast and the rest of the world is awake before I am. And I wake up today and all of these messages about Adam Cole. I guess there was a story that got out last night that Adam Cole, I think the story was that Adam Cole had made, had been made an offer by Tony Khan. Uh, there was another story from a day or two ago that Adam Cole had verbally agreed to a new deal from WWE. There was another story that he was in the middle of in negotiations or whatever. Listen, Adam Cole is a very, very well-liked guy, Okay. And I got a bunch of messages this morning from a bunch of people that were very upset about things that had been reported on the internet that are very close to Adam Cole on both sides. And you can make of this what you will, but this is what I was told. A few days ago, story came out that Adam Cole's deal had expired in uh, early July, and he had verbally agreed to stay through SummerSlam, okay? Message after message this morning... Essentially just saying, I don't know where all of these stories are coming from, but nothing has changed with Adam Cole. Adam Cole has not been made an offer by Tony Khan. Adam Cole is, like, at the moment, not in negotiations with WWE. He could be at any time. He could be today, for all I know. But there are uh, two weeks until SummerSlam, and as of today, from both sides, I was told that nothing has changed. There are two weeks... Before his deal is up, he has two weeks to negotiate with WWE. I don't know what they're going to offer him. I don't know what they're going to offer him. He's going to make a decision based on that. If uh, he does not come to a new agreement by the time SummerSlam is over, he will then begin negotiating with AEW. I've said it before. I know people think it's a foregone conclusion that he is going to go to AEW. But I am here to tell you that I do not think it is a foregone conclusion that he is going to go to AEW. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. But at the end of the day, to the best of my knowledge from people on both sides, there is no, there's nothing new on Adam Cole since the last time we had a report on Adam Cole, which was like a week ago. So we wait and see. I don't know what's going to happen. People just wish casting there. They know what they want, at least a lot of these folks, which is to see him in AEW. So, hey, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. you got to let this type of thing play out, although I don't think it's going to stop anybody from hoping online or lying online or wishing online, whatever it's going to be. This is going to continue until he actually officially signs with somebody. You know, the thing, too, it's like, talk about being between a rock and a hard place. So Tony Khan publicly stated that the story of him offering Adam Cole a deal was not true. And so, of course, you know what happens. Then all of the the anti-AW folks come on and go, well, he, he has to say that legally. You're right. He does have to say that legally. But forget Tony Khan, okay? I have been told, and this was long before his deal came up, one person after another, Adam Cole is a company guy, okay? Now, saying that Adam Cole is a company guy does not mean that he's WWE, NXT, whatever, for life. What it means is when he is under contract to WWE, he is not going to, while under contract, go and negotiate with another company. He's not going to do it. Forget Tony Khan. Adam Cole is not going to do that. He is a company guy. If they tell Adam Cole not to do something, he's not going to do it. Now, when his contract is over, I'm sure he's going to go and he's going to negotiate if he does not re-sign with WWE before his contract is up. But everybody that's on and on about, oh, well, Tony Khan, of course he's going to... This is not even a Tony Khan thing. It's an Adam Cole thing. So I'm pretty confident that, in fact, he has not been made an offer by AEW. And the, the reality is... He doesn't need to be made an offer because I'm sure that Adam Cole is well aware that if his WWE contract expires, he's going to be made an offer by everybody on the planet Earth. So if he wants to field offers, then the easy thing to do is let his deal expire, field offers, 
much like Daniel Bryan did, and then make his decision. So, I don't know where things come from. I mean, I know, I mean, anyway. You know, it's a crazy thought that maybe people don't want to hear, and I don't know this to be true, and I'm not saying that it is, but maybe Adam Cole is happy where he's at. I've said that. <laughs> I've said like I know and maybe when people it needs say to be said again, when people know? talk about oh he's got such great friends in the elite. You're right. You're absolutely positively right that he has a ton of friends in AEW. But you know who else he's great friends with? Triple H and Shawn Michaels. And not only are they his friends, but they were like his idols growing up as a wrestling fan. So don't discount. And I'm not just saying those two guys, but, like, he's got a ton of friends. You don't think that he's, he's the best friends with Kyle O'Reilly? Why don't you go back to their days in Ring of Honor? They have been friends forever. Everybody loves Adam Cole. He has great friends in AEW, and he's got great friends in NXT, and he's got great friends on the main roster. So if your argument is, oh, well, you know, there's no way... There's no way he's staying in NXT because he has friends. Oh, he has friends everywhere. Oh, well, his girlfriend is in AEW. Alistair Black's girlfriend is signed with... W- this. All of this stuff happens. He will make his decision based on what he personally wants to do and what he has offered from WWE and what he believes his ceiling is in everything. His family is his friends, too. His accountant is his friend. You know, there's, there's, you know, every bill collector wants to be your friend when you owe him money. I mean, he's 32 years old. He signs another three-year deal with NXT. Yeah, I mean, artistically, if you're a wrestling fan, maybe that's not where you want him to be. But considering the situation that his wife's in and everything, one more three-year deal at NXT money, even if you look at it as NXT money as opposed to main roster money, I mean... Maybe that's what he's looking for. He's looking for security. You just don't know. Yeah, I would much rather see him, you know, from a wrestling point of view somewhere else to do other things. But the guy's 32 years old. If he can set himself up for the rest of his life by 35 because this is the right route to go, it's not like he's going to be out of demand. Yes, you can get hurt. Yes, things can happen. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's also a reason why possibly he may stick around there with his wife being in a very secure position or his girlfriend being in a secure position. He may choose to, to want to do that again for a couple more years. I, I don't well, know, let me, but let me I don't add think more anybody that. should fall over shocked if it happens. How does someone, this person says, sign a new contract or an extension with WWE given the recent releases? Well, let's think about this. Why did he sign an extension? Because of everything that I talked about, about being a professional and being a company man. They alerted him one day, hey, buddy, your contract's actually expired. But can you please stay through SummerSlam? It was whatever the excuse was. I don't know what it was. It was like The Rock. It was a clerical error, whatever. But he's a professional. He's a company guy, and he has friends there. So he goes, all right, I'll stay through SummerSlam. So if you want to write me out of storylines or whatever, that's fine, because he's a professional. Why would he resign? Okay, let's say that Adam Cole resigns, and then in six months he gets fired. He's homeless? No one's going to want him in six months. In six months, if he gets fired, he goes to AEW, Impact, New Japan, wherever he wants to go. That's why. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.